Hey YouTube, this is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4BFR. Well, I just got home and uh, here in uh, Florida and uh, I turned on my 2 meter 440 radio and I heard nothing on it for several hours. So I key up, try to keep the repeater and nothing. So I trace my coax and this is, remember, I have a, a problem with the city of putting up um, several antennas and you can see my first complaint the link is above and so I trace down the uh, coax and this is a temporary fix I try to camouflage sorry it's already dark here in Florida so I come home and uh, this is what I found That coax is cut right here. So, yeah. So, I, I think I found the, the person. Uh, obviously, a disgruntled neighbor failed to communicate with us if we're violating or if it's uh, unpleasing to their eyes. The person behind us at my QTH was probably the people that reported the multiple antennas here. I'm just going to repair it and, um, and put it up again, but not there. Wow, people in this world, they just want to do harm or vandalize your property without even coming to communicate with me and saying excuse me can you please move that thing that little two piped antenna somewhere else because it's an eyesore in their backyard so I just want to give you guys a little update um, that's what I'm gonna do later I'm gonna put uh, perhaps tomorrow I'm gonna to put up two antennas my 2 meter and 440, I gotta repair this one with the coax. Now it's like shortened about, I don't know, a foot. So instead of 75, it's like 74 feet. I'm not gonna bother putting up the uh, air band antenna. So I just put up the 2 meter and 440 at that, uh, that tree over there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Well, anyways, I just wanna give you a short brief or vlog of my life here in Florida where the neighbors vandalize and cut your coax cable. Has that ever happened to you guys? Leave me a comment, tell your story. I'm kind of sad. I got now I gotta repair that. This just gives me more work to do. Where you know when I get done flying I got a lot of stuff to do. We're back inside. Welcome to my radio shack of uh, N4 VFR. Um, right here I'm operating remote FT8 and uh, monitoring an HF not at this time I just have it on for decoration I guess um, but I am going to fix my coax so let me show you this it was uh, cut by my neighbors I guess they hate my guts alright so this is a uh, LMR 400 it was cut. Let me see if I can get that in the, in the picture. There it is. It was cut. Maybe with some bolt cutters. You can see it there. So I looked in my box of accessories and this is the last PL259 connector for an RG8. Uh, the other one that I have is a PL259 to RG58. It's too small. So let me show you how I put this together real quick. Alright guys, this is going to be ghetto style PL259. So I'm just going to separate this by twisting off the sleeve. Alright, so that's how it looks like. 
There are four holes that I'm going to need to solder later on to the um, to the shield. Let's see how this goes. Okay, make sure you got the right orientation. See that the the threads are on the top, and um, always put this in first because once you get that soldered in here like this permanently, there is no way that you're going to put this sleeve down to the cable. So always put this in first. That's going to go all the way down to the floor. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure the the length where I need to cut. Okay, so I'm going to line it up like this. And um, I know this portion here is going to be the center conductor and from here on down it's going to be the ground, the uh, negative, the shield. I'm going to take a razor blade, I'm just going to cut this the outer covering. Try not to break the shield. Man, this is heavy stuff. This is LMR, man. This is not really flexible. Okay. I don't think it needs to be perfect. I don't have those special tools for this because I rarely make this connectors. I don't remember the year when I made my first connector. I think it was back in the 80s. I'm going to cut a slit just down the middle just like this. Why did I do that the first time? I cut a slit down the middle. It's not on manual. It's on manual focus. I, I apologize. There, it's on automatic focus now. I cut a slit down the middle, and uh, I can use my pliers just to pull it right off. There you go. See how easy that was. All right. Oh, jeez. What's next? This is really not a how-to, but this is watch me do it. <laughs> All right, here's my, here's my connectors again, backwards, upside down. It's gonna go like this. A little bit of solder. I want to cut some of the shielding off. I wish I had the right tools. Maybe these these might work. It's not sharp. I wish I had some snips. You just want to donate some snips? Yeah, I don't do this often, but I'm making a mess. Believe me, when I solder this, I'm not going to be soldering on this this fake wood table. I want to do it on the on the tile floor. I don't have a work workstation. Man, I should invite some local hams to do this for me. Okay. This is like when you get a haircut, come home from the barber shop. And you get strands of hair in your shirt, down in your shirt, and it makes you itch. That's the feeling I, I'm feeling right now because I'm looking at all these strands. You know, I knew I should have went to the uh, Orlando Ham Fest. Orlando's only about two and a half hours drive from here. Alright, so... But I wasn't. I was busy... Flying airplanes in the flight simulator in Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, guys. Alright, um, 
somewhat like this. Um, the center insulator. I'm going to cut right about here. Right about there. Again, I'm just using a, a razor blade. Let's see if I cut through all the way. I'm twisting it off. Ta-da! All right. Yeah, this Radio Shack, I don't know what the wattage is. 25 watts. It ain't cutting it. So, I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna use this bad boy. I found this somewhere around the uh, garage. Uh, Chicago Electric. So, and it has the lights on it. So it's probably, they say, uh, 180 watt soldering. So I need something powerful to heat this really fast so the solder runs through it. Oh, let's see how this works. Take some of this flux. Gonna paint it right in that hole. Stand back, guys. An amateur radio operator is going to solder the PL259 connector. Okay, I give up. I think this is going to do. I'm not an expert on this. I know there's some cold, cold solder joints there. And I'm going to put it together and test it. We're going to test it, see if, if it's grounded. Here's the multimeter. Test continuity. There's the ground. To the positive. It's okay. Here's the ground to the ground. Alright, I want to test the other end. Okay, the other end, we got the ground here and the ground here. All right, center conductor. What center conductor? Let's see how I'm gonna do this. All right, center conductor. Oh, that's good. Into the ground, center conductor, into the ground. I'm setting out a, another CQ on FT8 40 meters. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video. And uh, I know you can uh, feel the frustration. You know, you're coming home and then you find out that someone cut the coax. Luckily, it's only this much of coax that was cut, so that uh, less than a foot. So I still have about 74 foot left. Tomorrow, I'm going to put up the other antenna the uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeters. Thank you for watching guys. My name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and leave me a comment. Um, I know this is not a soldering class but I was able to solder it, get it to work and um, or test the continuity. I'll test it tomorrow. So thank you and have a great day guys.